So, so far naman, overall, after my injection, wala well, naman siya masyadong side effect. <laughs> Said that you had enough, nothing at all. God, I know this is bad. This is how things will go. Maybe in time, you'll change your mind. Now, looking back, I wish I could be wild. Red and welcome back to my channel. So guys, for today's vlog, share ko lang sa inyo kung ano ba yung naging experience ko and ano ba yung side effects after getting the first dose of COVID vaccine. So I got my first dose of COVID vaccine yesterday, siguro mga around 10 in the morning and right after the injection, naramdaman ko yung pain and swelling sa aking injection site pero sobrang tolerable naman siya and siguro mga after 45 hours, uh, feeling ko sobrang pagod na pagod ako na antok na antok talaga ako na gusto gusto ko talaga siyang itulog so siguro mga 5pm when I got home um, bago ako magpahinga bago ako matulog I took um, analgesic kasi nga naramdaman ko na rin may mga muscle pain ako Actually guys, I took medicine every 6 hours kasi I'm expecting na rin na magkakaroon ako fever and chills. Kasi yung iba, yun yung naging symptoms, may fever and chills. But sa akin naman so far, di ko siya naramdaman. But in case na na-experience mo yung ganun symptoms, fever and chills, muscle pain, swelling, uh, redness on the injection site. So, Huwag kayong matatakot. Normal sign lang yon that your body is building protection. At first, natatakot ako magpa-vaccine kasi meron akong asthma and worried ako baka mas malala yung symptoms sa akin. But so far naman, after one day, um, I'm better and konti lang yung symptoms na naramdaman ko like fatigue and muscle pain and of course, tenderness dito sa injection site. And so, ikaw, kung nagpa-vaccine ka, hindi pa rin nawala yung redness and tenderness sa iyong injection site. And meron ka pa rin symptoms and side effects after a few days. So, much better. Consult your doctor. So, counting tips lang para sa mga nagpa-vaccine and for those who want to get their shot. So, you can take over-the-counter analgesic medication but of course, with doctor's advice. So, of course, you will take the medication after the injection kung may maramdaman kang discomfort. Pero kung wala naman, nung need na. Kasi yung iba yung ginagawa nila, uh, they will take the medication before the shot, thinking that it will prevent from further symptoms and side effects. So, wag na wag yung gagawin, guys. It's a no, 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 no. Okay? So, just take the medication if there are symptoms. And if you think tolerable naman, so, hindi na kailangan. So, para mabawasan naman ang pain and discomfort sa iyong injections, <laughs> injection site, okay, you can apply cold compress or do arm exercise. Actually, pa two days ko na ngayon, pero nararamdaman ko pa rin yung pain sa site na to. And, of course, wear loose clothes. Huwag masyadong tight. And last but not the least, drink plenty of water. 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 <laughs> So, I was advised for the second dose after 3 months and makaka-receive ka rin naman ng message kapag due ka na for vaccine. So, so far naman overall after my injection, wala well, naman siya masyadong side effect. <laughs> <laughs> As I mentioned nga, yun lang yung naramdaman kong symptoms, uh, muscle pain, pain and tenderness sa aking injection site, fatigue, and again, kung makaramdam ka ng fever and chills, huwag kang mag-alala, don't worry, kasi it's a normal sign, and it will last only for 1 to 2 days, and kapag uh, hindi pa rin siya na-relieve -na after a few days, so much better, consult your doctor na. So, hopefully naman after weeks, uh, months, and 
sa darating pa mga taon, wala naman siyang maging side effects. So, waiting tayo dyan. <laughs> but hopefully, and I'm praying na maging successful siya throughout the year. So, guys, it's up to you to decide kung magpapavaccine ka na ba. Okay? So, that's it, guys. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, hit the notification bell. Oh, crap. Hit the notification bell.